This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Mutual funds and stocks talked in this video are purely used as examples. This video is not meant for advisory or recommendation purpose. Hello everyone, I am Anish from Alice Blue. Welcome back to our option trading series. In this video series, we will be exploring the option trading from a very basics to an advanced option trading strategy. Please watch the entire video and do like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get new video updates. To know about the basics of options like call options, put options, strike prices and the intrinsic value and the extrinsic value of option premium, watch my previous in the option trading category. In this video, we are going to discuss about the implied volatility. Come, let's get into this in detail now. In option trading, there are two types of volatility to consider. Historical volatility and implied volatility. First, there is the historical volatility. Historical volatility is an actual price fluctuation of an underlying asset over a specific period. It helps traders to analyze the asset's past performance and gauge its potential future moment. And second one is the implied volatility. Implied volatility is a forward-looking estimate of the future volatility of an underlying asset as implied by the option market. It represents the market expectation of how much the asset price will fluctuate over a given time period. Implied volatility is influenced by various factors including market demand, investor sentiment and macroeconomic event. During times of uncertainty or impending news announcement, implied volatility tends to rise as traders anticipate significant price movement. Implied volatility has a direct impact on option pricing. Higher implied volatility increases the premium of option contracts reflecting the increased uncertainty and potential for large price swings. Conversely, lower implied volatility results in lower option premiums. Let's say for example, an option strike price having a higher implied volatility means the premium of an option strike price is very high because the extrinsic value of the premium is very high in that option. Now let's go to the NSE option chain to understanding the implied volatility and its impact in option strike price. So now we are in a nifty option chain in the NSE website. So now Nifty is trading at a range of 18,314 level. At that time, our at the money's premium is at around 18,300. You can see here, IV. IV means the implied volatility. So in a ITM premium, in a ITM premium, 18,250, 18,200, 18,150. See the premium. See the IV is 9.92, 10.07, 10.37. At that same time, you can see in a put side also. Put side also, we can see. 11, 10.90 and 11.5. Usually the put side IVs are high only as compared to the call side I will be. So, if the IV is in a higher range means, in a out of the money you can see the IV is around 11, 12, 13, 14. So, it's only because of the extrinsic value of the premium. So, in the, in the money and the at the money, the IV is very less. So, now we conclude to the point. If the IV is very less, it's beneficial to the option buyer. If the IV is very high, it benefits to the option seller. Why? Because the option have a quality which is erosion, premium erosion. If the IV is high means the premium automatically will get eroded. If the IV is low means the erosion will be very limited. You can see in the out of the money premium. Out of the money premium, the IVs are very high. So only the out of the money premium options always have a higher erosion. In the in the money option strike price, the erosions are very less. Hope you all understand the concept of implied volatility. Again, an important update for you. I am excited to announce that our Alice Blue is now on a community forum. Our forum is designed to be a place where investors, traders, anyone interested in financial market can connect and share insights and learn from each other. We will be there to answer your queries. Now we can see the sign up process of our community forum. Come. Now we can see the sign up process of our community forum. In a Chrome, you can type community. Alice Blue online. dot com directly that url take to the page of our community forum here you can take sign up sign up and there is two methods one is you have to create an account or you can use your google account to sign up i'm just using the google account just click the google account here in my account is visible i'm just clicking the my account for a sign up so it's our email id username and our name and we can create an account. Finally, the sign up process is completed. 
here there is a community and there is a plus symbol just click it here you can type your queries and what type of queries you have you can type and just create topic means it automatically update in our community forum hope you all understand the sign up process of our community forum see you in the next video with another interesting option trading concept until then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get new video updates this is anish signing off thank you investments in securities markets are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing